Last week, a communique came out from the presidency of the Republic of Cameroon. It's signed by Ferdinand Gongo. And there it was written that the president of the Republic of Cameroon, President Pobia, has instructed that the diagnosis of COVID-19 by PCR tests is hand for payable at the flat rate of its CFA 30,000 in Cameroon. And many people came out criticizing and insulting and calling the nation names. Some say Cameroon is, the coffer is empty. Some say it is two bankruptcies. Many talk about many other things. But what I have to tell you is that it, the PCR test is payable everywhere in the world. And the price is okay. Here in Cyprus, it is between 30 to 40 euros. And if you convert it to franc CFA, it is equal to, it might be the same as 30,000 francs and even more. So it is payable. So Cameroon should not think of if poor beer, because in that statement they say, henceforth, many as felt it was not payable, in which I do not believe, because is that the PCR test is too expensive. So I, I, they say, friend for many, if it was not payable, then you guys have to even congratulate the Cameroon government for the first time for doing something of that nature, giving it for free. COVID-19 came into existence in 2019, and then it, it, it maybe went into the world and Cameroon included, and maybe in 2020. And since then, Cameroon has been doing a lot of the issue, begging people to come take vaccination or do the test for COVID-19, and many people have been reluctant. And many people are asking the question, during that period that was free, nobody went for it. Is it now that it will be payable, that people will start going for it? And TFA analysis is here just to talk about it. That uh, with us, we look at it. ESF analysis look at it to be maybe to give some prediction concerning this because nothing can come out from the presidency just for nothing. There is something behind it, and that is what we have been struggling with from that day up to today before presenting this video because we have been thinking to hear something that maybe is behind or push the president to make this kind of statement of asking the people to pay for this in which it is right paying it is right but there is something behind it and that is why we are because the presidency is the pot the center of corruption and there is nothing they do there are two objectives they do everything from the presidency or the Cameroon government involved in anything for two issues either it is political for political interest or for profit and coming up at this point, when coronavirus is already going down, it's already come, it's already a common virus or illness among the people. The consequence is not as it was before. It's just like a common disease like called Qatar and cough now. And then this is the time they are coming up with this issue. To me, I believe there is something behind. And one of the things that I'm thinking. I'm predicting that might be behind this issue is that the Cameroon government might use this to raise money because they have spent a lot of money on military because of the Anglophone crisis. They have spent a lot of money on the African Nation Corp, building studios and other things, and borrow money in order for other activities. And then maybe they want to balance this money. And then saying that this PCR test will be paid by 30,000 francs, a condition my calm that any concur or any exam public exam that you want to write maybe you'll be asked to do the pcr test and if you are asked to do this then cameroonians the common people will suffer a lot because if you are asked to do this in which exams in cameroon when they talk about the level of unemployment in cameroon is too high that when they talk about exam whether they need 100 people maybe 10,000 people will go in for that 10,000 people will pay 30,000 francs to do the PCR test. That is the fear. That is the first fear we are having. The second might be that all workers have to do it once in a month or do it before going to work. Because they mentioned here, they did not mention about the rapid test, in which the rapid test is also paid. But here in, in Cyprus, it's 4 euro francs. The 4, the 4 euro. It's four euro. When you convert it to the CFA francs, it's around two thousand francs. 
So if it's in Cameroon, this one is not included here. Maybe they want to use only this one, the, the PCR test for everything. But if they are putting it the way it is in other country, that if you want to travel out of the country, you must do the PCR test, then it's okay. It's okay because that is what is happening. And then the rich people might go in for Maybe they come in contact with somebody with COVID-19. They have to do it, the PCR test because it will detect it very fast. The slightest, the little, the little of COVID-19 virus in you, it will detect it. So if that is the way, but if they are not doing it for for interest for 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 their profit, then it's good. But if they are doing it, if there is this country and behind it, the common people are going to suffer. And we are praying that there should not be. Because if the government say any concur before you go in for you have to do the PCR test and many countries now are involved are still holding on to many rules or measures concerning the COVID-19 because they bought a lot of vaccination they bought a lot of the, the rapid test and the PCR test and they are looking for way to say that because very soon all these things will stop and those countries that have done it like France have finished selling all that those rules are no longer there. Britain, those rules are no longer there. But countries that are still having a lot of these things in hanging, a test or a PCR test, rapid test, and then the vaccine still with them, they are still holding on to rules and regulation concerning COVID-19 restriction and this one, they are still putting them in place in order to sell this thing. And if that is the reason behind the government giving this bill, then it will penalize a lot of Cameroonians. Many of them are already suffering and suffering a lot because of the Anglophone crisis, because of Boko Haram, because of corruption and embezzlement, because of bad governance. So this should not add to them. We just pray.